Hey everyone, John from Ride Upstate. Man, it is a banger of a day today. Uh, the weather has just been so beautiful. I can't believe I'm going out and dashing, but that quest is calling me. The quest is calling me, that's right. If you don't know what quest I'm talking about, follow me on Instagram. I'm at Ride Upstate. I wanted to talk a little bit about the difference in delivery zones that I'm noticing um, from market to market. Just to give you an idea, I live my house and where most of the restaurants that I deliver to are almost all the way in the extreme northern end of my delivery zone. So I know what you, what you might be thinking, right? Well, John, why don't you go to one to the left or the right or above you? Well, first of all, there isn't one to the left or the right. And the one above me is even worse uh, because I'm so far south of where the deliveries would be coming from. So here's the deal. My delivery zone, and I apologize for the lighting and nothing I can do about it. My delivery zone is... 29 miles long and about 11 miles wide. No, I'm not kidding. It's 29 miles long and 11 miles wide. That is a huge space to cover for deliveries. So in my market, dollars to miles just, it doesn't always work out. Now I'm going to be doing a, a little challenge here pretty soon where I'm only going to accept deliveries that are five miles or less, which I think I can do on a weekend, um, but I don't think I can do it during the week. So what will often happen is there the restaurants that are in my area, in my town where I'm at, they may not exist in a town 15 miles south of where I live and where these restaurants are. And so I could get deliveries that go down there. Now, sometimes if it's like $35, $25, it's worth it. I can pop over into another uh, over into a, another town and pick up some other orders going north or going south. But I would say on average for deliveries, I'm probably driving seven to eight miles. It's not like these densely populated cities of other YouTubers that you see and hear online. Uh, it, it just, it's not possible here. Now I could drive down to the capital of my state, New York, down to Albany. That's about 35, 40 miles to drive down there. And I could get, you know, these cluster of deliveries. But man, I, I'll tell you, this market is, it's tough. It's very, very tough. So, you know, I think when I look at most people's maps, it looks like maximum they're 10 miles from end to end. But when you're dealing with 28, 29 miles from one end to the other, uh, 11 miles across, that's a lot of mileage that you have to cover. So if you're in a smaller market like mine, your delivery zone is gonna be larger. So you have to really consider, do I wanna take that order that's 25 or $30 do I want to cover those miles? What's that going to do for my hourly earnings? Is that going to put me in a position where I can pick up another trip? It's really tough. Really, really tough. Hey, my name is John from Ride Upstate, reminding you that just because you're in a small market and your zone is 330 miles squ square miles, <laughs> you don't have to settle for small profits.